Chrissy Swan Show. Big show, Jack. Big show for you Wednesday. A, Priya, Dr. Priya Alexander's coming in and we're going to get her to talk about ADHD. How do you know when you've got it? What do you do? Why is everyone being diagnosed with yeah. it lately? Yeah, it seems like it's a bit of a thing. I know I could get in trouble for saying that, but it does feel like that. It does, and you are absolutely going to get yeah. cancer. <laughs> Don't at me. There is no doubt about it. Now, we are taking the Chrissy Swan Show to Adelaide this weekend for listener Christie's wedding. We're doing it. We're crashing her wedding. We're crashing the city of Adelaide. But we are massive coffee drinkers. We are. Remember that cute time of yours when, <laughs> when you said that you were going to give up coffee? I and know. I just went, okay, sweetie. I All lasted right. like two or three weeks. That's really impressive. You're not going to be not drinking coffee this weekend. But what we want to know is if you're in Adelaide or if you've spent a fair bit of time in Adelaide, we can't get this wrong. Not the way we, we are. We need a good brew. Tell us where the best coffees are in Adelaide, 13 24 10. Give us a call. And just for giving us that suggestion, that means you're on the air and uh, you're in the draw for 10K a day in May. I've got some Taylor Swift news coming up to a news. Oh, I can't wait. It's- the Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's Clickbait. I believe it's the King's coronation this weekend, but of course I'm talking about a different monarch, my queen, Taylor Swift. Her Australian tour still hasn't been announced. There's been so many rumours. And the latest one is is that only people that live in Melbourne and Sydney are going to be able to see her. This doesn't surprise me because I remember for her reputation tour yeah. back in 2018, I think it was, Yeah, I remember hearing that it, she lost money coming to Australia, but she did it for the fans. So they're probably trying to cut costs and she, just hit Melbourne and Sydney. She needs to do this for the fans. Are you joking? I'm sorry, but Taylor Swift and her management aren't sitting in their office worrying about the fans. They're looking at the bank account and the you bottom You just line. <laughs> said, you just said that she did the city's other cities in Australia for the fans. Yeah, in 2018. Yeah. I'm talking this year. She's probably like, okay, her management are like, all right. We need her more than ever. Focus on the dollar here. We need her more than ever. I've got my fingers crossed for everybody in Brisbane and Perth. And Adelaide. And Adelaide. Where we're going, by the way, 13, 20, 14, where are we going to get get good coffee from? Now, Kevin Costner. Blast from the past for most people, but he's still working. He's in Yellowstone, the star of Yellowstone. He's just, uh, his wife has filed for divorce. Okay. It's fresh, hot off the press. 18 years of marriage. I've done a little bit of deep diving. This is his third marriage. Guess how many kids he's got? Four. Seven. Oh, ew. Oh, my God. (laughs) You think you would have learnt the first time. (laughs) Anyway, he's got seven. I love your reaction. Ew. (laughs) He's got seven kids. But what I thought was interesting is generally when these Hollywood types break up, they all cut and paste the same press release. It's like their publicity teams and agents just have the word doc on their desktop, I ready think, for another divorce. I think they <laughs> Send might. Send that one out and just change the name. Divorce dot dot. Yeah. Um, but listen to this one. See if you can pick a difference here. It is with great sadness. This is from Kevin Costner's people. It is with great sadness that circumstances beyond his control have transpired, which have resulted in Mr. Costner having to participate in a dissolution of marriage action. <gasps> Way to reveal she's cheated. I know. This is clearly not his idea. Not his idea. Imagine how angry she would be hearing that statement. I know. It's so passag. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, my God. This is Ed. Have you heard the it latest is. with Ed? I, I've seen bits and pieces. He's in court. Yeah. He's uh, you know, allegedly uh, been ripping off Marvin Gaye's riff from the 1970s. He says if he's found guilty, he'll never record again. I hope the judge is an Ed fan. I do too. The Chrissy Swan Show. For beauty, health, wellness and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out Priceline.com to date you. The Chrissy Swan Show. And I'm thrilled to welcome my friend, Dr Priya Alexander. Thank you, Chrissy. So good to see you. I don't think I've seen you since the since a Priceline, like a Partridge family bus. Correct. Years ago. <laughs> years and yes. years ago. Yes. I think I got on top of a four-wheel drive. You did. Yeah, I and did. And we were singing, I remember. What were we singing? Don't know, but you've got many tunes and I enjoyed it. We're spontaneous Just singers. Then, I thought you were going to diagnose me with something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the song was, but you've got middle loose. <laughs> I can tell from here. I love it. We could make a diagnosis. We could. You've got a new book out, Eat, Sleep, Play, Love. 
Um, I I love the sleep idea here because <laughs> uh, I've recently become obsessed with sleeping. Yes. What is it in our society that we don't value it anywhere near as much as we should? I reckon people don't know the health benefits. Mm. Sleep is key. Yes. Immune system support. You don't want to get sick this winter. Get enough sleep. Yeah. You know, helps the immune system. It's good for the mood. It's good for lots of things. So I don't think we realise the multiple impacts it can have. Do you think also, and you would, I'm sure you would come across this, in because you you're an actual doctor. Yeah. You know, like I you, know, it's you, weird. You see patients all <laughs> the do. time, and then you do this fun stuff. Mm. I don't know how you find the time, but do you find that as a a human race, human beings, if something is easy and achievable, mm. that I want to know about it? I reckon we often look for the quick fix now. Everyone yeah. wants that. Can I just get the script? Can I get just get this? Social media has been a factor too. This is the quick way to do this. This is yes. the quick way. Mate, the basics, the real basics, like eating two serves of fruit and five serves of veg a day, getting enough sleep, moving your body, getting, you know, all those basic things, huge health benefits. Yeah. Try those first. Try those. And they're not easy. No, Holy they're not. Holy mama. You know, no. like when I'm stressed, which is probably this week, mm. the sleep's a bit harder to come by, a bit harder to fit the exercise in. But, mate, do what you can to get it in because it's good for you, body and brain. Yeah. Mm. What's your biggest tip for people struggling to sleep? Like if I walked into the clinic Ooh. and said, Priya, help me, I'm not sleeping, what would be like the first thing you say? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a consult with John at all. Um, Charge look, me after. <laughs> I would go into what is going on. So I'm going into your mood. Is your mood okay? Are you feeling anxious? Is your mood low? What's your stress levels doing? Are you taking caffeine too late in the day? But I always start with... Asking for a friend, when is too late in the day? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you've got sleep issues, I actually say nothing beyond 2pm. If you're really struggling with stress and anxiety, I say cut off at midday. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. And yeah. maximum two if yeah. you're struggling with sleep. Mm. But look, I prescribe sleep hygiene all the time. The biggest thing people struggle with is screens in the hour before bed. Yeah. Okay. And I can tell you, Jack, you're there yeah, scrolling. Of course stuff. he is. I see him. I see him I scrolling. Am. I can Stuff. I'm like, of course what's he, he doing is. up? Of yeah. course. Aren't we all? <laughs> we are. Correct. See, we hear that sort of advice and then we go, nah. Correct. I know, you know? it's hard to yeah. implement. I'm yeah. not telling you for a minute I do it every night. What I do do is in periods of stress when I know, holy mama, I'm going to struggle to sleep, I go, cut the caffeine, yeah. cut the booze, wind down ritual, no screens, hour before bed. I do love that because it is simple. You've just got to enforce it. You, you will do. never do any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Priya Alexander's book, Eat, Sleep, Play, Love, is now available at all good bookstores. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Dr. Priya Alexander joins us. One of my favourite things in the media for as far back as I can remember is having access to to a doctor's brain to ask questions, <laughs> like Dolly Doctor, all of yes, that stuff. Yes, Dolly Doctor, the sealed section. It was magic. Yes, How many letters about discharge were there? <laughs> I know, and it's actually part of my job in the consulting room every day. What, to talk about discharge? Yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah, babe. That's, that's oh. my job, sex, discharge, that's the reality. Oh. Yes. Great. Yes. Whereas in those two songs, we just grilled her on sleep. Yeah, for I know. Seven minutes. Such dags. All right, we threw it out there to followers of the Chrissy Swan Show Instagram account. Any questions for Dr. Priya? And this is what we came up with. Ooh. Why do we crave burgers and fries when we're hungover? Ooh. Shouldn't we crave healthy options to refuel ourselves and goodness? Look, when you're drinking, mm. alcohol's a diuretic. So it's like coffee. It's going to make you wee, more fluid out and electrolytes. So you're losing stuff like sodium, which is salt. Ah. So when you're hungover, you're dehydrated. Your body's going, whoo, give me some fluid and salt. Also. And then your body is, you, you're confused. So you go for fries. Correct. And also a lot of people when they're hungover mistake thirst for hunger. You're actually dehydrated. You're thirsty and you're going for food. Look at you two like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, God. I, haven't had a, I haven't had a drink in over two years, two and a half years. Well, there you go. So That's me. That's, She's looking at me. Jack, <laughs> Jack needs light this information. Hey, so Jack wrote in himself. I love that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jack, for your question. This one next. I've never had the flu vax, but Ooh. I've been seeing a lot of ads for it. Is it vital to have? And as an addendum to that from Chrissy in Melbourne, 
I'm nervous of getting sick from the flu vax oh, and yeah. I can't have any downtime. Okay, let's bust this myth, baby. Like I want to do the right thing, but also I don't want the flu. Okay, so you don't want the flu. Mm. Influenza is not a cold. So when you get influenza, you're going to get fevers, muscle aches, fatigue, low appetite. It's full on, yeah. usually seven days. Now, if you want to reduce your risk, it's the flu vaccine and you need it every year because the strain's covered in it change. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing. It's not live vaccine. So it's not going to give you the flu. You might have a bit of a sore arm like I did on Friday. That's fine. Maybe a bit of muscle aches. Maybe I had nothing. But you're not going to get the flu from it. It's not a live vaccine. And in so the book, that's I talk about kids. Vaccinate kids. Over six months, you can have it. Okay, amazing. Next question. How do I know, and this is a buzzword and very common on the socials, <laughs> how do I know if I have ADHD? Oh, that's a tricky mama. We could be in here for an hour. I think... The key things are go and chat to your GP. I say to people, I get a bit of info. I want to know about inattention. Can you fixate on a task? Are you the person who's watching TV but can't finish the show? And I say to people, write a one-page sheet for me on all the things you notice Mm. and come back. And often that is very telling. So chat to your GP. Go in with a symptom diary. Okay, I love it. Mm. Um, And this last one, there was some footage that went around (laughs) last week of this guy at the supermarket. Saw you saw this. Okay. So he's opened yes. up a bulk pack of chicken drumsticks and he's eating them raw yeah. on the travelator without shoes. Bare which, foot, is, yeah, which yeah, kills which, me. Which oh, I, I don't... It? I Are mean, you worried about what? Planter warts? Uh, yeah, sure. But okay. like, I'm just worried about my eyes. When no. people enter a shopping centre, put a shoe on. It's not oh. about a disease that he's worried about. It's about fashion. Oh, <laughs> fashion. <laughs> How could Oh, my possibly? gosh. I've gone barefoot into a supermarket on holidays. Of course. Yes. On holidays, definitely. Yes. Dr. Priya, how sick will the Adelaide man be after (laughs) eating this raw chicken drumstick? I wonder what's going on here. It makes me slightly concerned. There's lots of things. So you want to cook it to kill all those bacteria. Now, we keep talking about salmonella, but there are others like Campylobacter. And so you will get diarrhoea, vomiting, sore tummies. 100% he will get that? 100%. It's very likely. (laughs) Okay. It's very likely. And I'm worried. Yes, you're worried worried. for him. I am. I am. I think you're not the only one. (laughs) No. Dr. Priya Alexander, thank you so much for joining us. Don't be a stranger. I'd love to have you in here oh, all Mama the time. Oh, Doctor. Um, GP, mother of two and TV presenter. Her book is Eat, Sleep, Play, Love, available at all good bookstores from today. The Chrissy Swan Show. We are taking this show on the road, Jack. We sure are. The Chrissy Swan Show. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. I'm driving. There's no way known I would get in a, in a car with you as the passenger. As the passenger or the driver, you mean? As the passenger, I would never allow it. I'm driving. I'm not letting you drive me anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you let me be the passenger? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said passenger. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said I'm not allowing myself oh, to be you the passenger. Meant me. No, you drive like a lunatic. Well, I just like to get places fast. I'm yeah. efficient is Good the on word you. I had used. Good on you. How are your demerit points? <laughs> we are going to Adelaide and we need coffee. And uh, we are going straight to the source. Hattie, where are we getting our coffees from in Adelaide? Boy and Bloom. Boy and that Bloom. is my go-to. I'm writing it down. What suburb? It is Flinders Street, so in the city, smack bang in the middle of the city. Okay, done. It's my favourite coffee ever, hands oh. down. All right, done. I just heard your Adelaide accent then too. Um, you are oh, in the draw. No. <laughs> you are in the draw for uh, ten ten uh, k a day, and uh, everybody that we're about to speak to is in the draw. Let's do a bonanza and get as many people in that draw as possible. Alicia, where are we going for coffee in Adelaide? You're going to He Said, She Said in Hyde Park. Done. You're in the draw. 10K a day. Kirsty, where are we going? I'm going to exchange special coffee. Coffee. Specialty coffee, sorry. I love exchange. I've had too much coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> exchange from Barton Avenue. <laughs> specialty coffee. I love it. I love yeah, it. You're that's in exactly the draw. right. Keep your phone on. I love when a coffee shop chucks specialty in there because you know they're really up themselves. Absolutely. They're roasting Which I love. themselves. <laughs> Melissa, where are we going? We're off to the cannoli box in Churchill Road Prospect. Oh, my God. And do they do mm. hand-filled cannoli as well? They do hand-filled cannoli as well. Dead, yeah. Melissa. That is on the list. You're in the draw so for 10K a day in May. There. We will. R-O-P-R. We will. Thank you. Stacey, where are we going? First things first, coffee. Can you hear these accents, I these Adelaide can. accents? I love I can them. pick them a mile I off. live with one, so I'm used oh, to it. Oh, you do. <laughs> Stacey, we are going to the Barossa for, for Christy's wedding. She's a, a listener of the show, and that's why we're going to Adelaide. Well, you- you'll get it on the way through then. Oh, Damn, good. I'm so excited. All right, I've written that down. You're in the draw for 10K a day in May. And lastly, Amy. 
Hey guys, how are you going? Good, darling. Where are we getting our best brew in Adelaide from? Uh, you're actually going to pass straight through Gawler. You can sort of bypass through Gawler on your way to the Barossa and go to the Java Hut on the main street. The Java Hut. Chick, can I tell you, I'm a bit... Iffy on the name. I'm a bit iffy so on the, am I. I'm a bit iffy oh, on no. any cafe that uses Java in their name. Or hut. Or no, hut. they're awesome, I promise. Chrissy's Quizzy. Oh, yes. Only five questions separate you, Trish, and you, Mary, from this unbelievable grey branded bum bag with the Chrissy Swan show all over it. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Collect That's it. Collector's item. Yes, a collector's item. That's right. Isn't that right, Jack? <laughs> mm, collector's item <laughs> for the bin. <laughs> here, here are the, the a garbage collector's item. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> here are the rules, my lovely ladies. Your name is your buzzer, and it's the best of five. Many, the first one of yours to get three answers correct wins the game and will walk away with a money can't buy Chrissy Swan Show pup bag. And you're both in the draw for Nova's 10K a day, which I'm excited about for you both. Yeah, so you're all winners. You're winners straight away. All right, question number one, moody music, please, Jack. Thank you. Which celebrity dressed like a cat at yesterday's... Yes? Oh, uh, Leto. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that. Correct. Also would have taken Doja Cat. Yeah, there were a few of them. There were. Question number two. Who answered that, Jack? Mary answered that one. Mary answered that. Mary, Mary. Oh, chaotic Chrissy just arrived. Why you bugging? In the last five minutes, chaotic Chrissy's walked through the door and I'm here for it. One of the great Run DMC songs, Mary, am I right? Absolutely. Hear it all the time. <laughs> Question number two. Grey Goose and Belvedere are types of what? Oh. Mm. Jack is personally affronted by the fact that you don't know this. It's vodka, ladies. It's vodka. Oh, <laughs> don't no drink. drink here. Sorry. Oh, yeah, me don't, too. Don't How drink. good is it, girls? Look at us. Yes. <laughs> just about to ask. I was just about to ask, did you have a problem? But I'm not even going to. It doesn't even matter. Who cares? <laughs> Whenever I see the word Belvedere, I think of Bert Newton's special friend. All right, yes, quest- that's what I was thinking. Correct. Yeah. Question number three. Four years ago today, Sean Mendes released this song. Can't write, find some that's, that's not about you. Can't drink, but about you. I mean, we're enjoying it. Do you know what it's called? Everything means Fritz. nothing. Yes? About you? No, it's not. It's If I Can't Have You, but that was a really valiant effort. Yeah. Question. But I'd give it a crack. Yeah. yeah. Have a shot of vodka, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. Which country has the largest population in the world? Mary. Trish. Yes, Mary. It's now India. It is not. It says China here. I think you're probably no, right. No, it changed, it changed about a week ago. It I did, I think. Yeah, they topped 1.4 billion. Let's Google it because Jack is losing his mind. I mean, according to Google, it's still China. So maybe we'll scrap that question. We'll scrap that. No points. Question number five. I'm happy with that. Yeah. In the acronym AKA, what does the K stand for? Yes, Mary. Oh, Mary, you're so fast. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Trish is angry. It's known. It is known. (laughs) In the acronym KAK, what does the A stand for? (laughs) And Kerry Ann Kennelly. Didn't she do herself a disservice on this show? Yes, Thought it was a good idea. So. Wasn't. Hey, we've got two points to Mary, no points to Trish. Mary, okay. this is for the okay. win. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're, we're playing a game. Chaotic yeah. Chrissy needs to keep, keep going In with the question. In which wing of the White House is the Oval Office located? Trish. Mary. Oh, Trish. Trish. The left. Oh, no. Mary. Yes, Mary. <laughs> It's the West Wing. It is the West Wing, Mary. The bum oh, bag okay. is yours. Oh, congratulations, Mary. Oh, Thank you so Trish, much. Trish, you're so sweet. You are in the draw for 10K in May. 10K a day yes. in May. Yes, thank you. Buy a few bum bags with that. Oh, God, I need a stiff drink, I think, ladies. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. I need your help as a young person to my yeah. very old person. A couple of things. I'm trying to get together a glossary of terms used by young people that I don't understand. And I got sent, I'm very fortunate to be sent lovely things. And Suzanne, who have 
basically done the most amazing rebrand. They've got the most gorgeous stuff at the moment. They sent me a Mother's Day box and it had this beautiful pair of pyjamas on. And I put it in, put it on. And Peg, who is like my fashion counsel, my daughter, 10 years old, I said, what do you think? She goes, "Mm, it's giving sexy. (laughs) So what does that mean? Does that mean? It's, It's funny, this it's giving thing, because I see or hear other people say it and I'm irritated, yet I say it. Okay. So, it's essentially just saying, if I looked at you and saying, it's that sweater, it's giving Karen. Means oh. you're wearing a sweater where you look like a Karen. You're not, by the way. Oh, like it's, that giving, it's giving a Karen vibe. It's giving a vibe, yeah. Okay. It's so simple, yet it's so funny how it's entered everyone's vocabulary. All right. So, those pyjamas are giving sexy. I don't mind it. It's a compliment. Second thing I want to flag with you is she said to me, Mum, can I have chat GPT? Oh, peg. <laughs> and I'm like... What is it? I don't know what that is. Is it a game? Like So, ChatGPT is taking, like everything, AI is taking over at the moment. You know, it's a real thing that everyone's talking about. Yeah, I feel like about. I'm just missing that boat. <laughs> I just do not understand. So, Now's my chance. ChatGPT is a program that's going nuts at the moment because it's AI technology mm. that allows you to have a human-like conversation to ask it to do something. So, it's essentially an online program. You create an account and you, for example, could say- Please write me a 20-word essay on Chrissy Swan. <gasps> and within seconds, it spits out an essay for you. And it's it's written, like, properly and as if it was done by a human. So, I mean, it's scary because it's probably going to one day take over everyone's job. But it's been that like, kids can use it to write essays or do their homework. It's really What's to fantastic. stop them from doing it? Nothing. I would imagine, I don't know, but I imagine schools and stuff would have a URL block on it. Yeah, but they've got it at home. Yeah, they can do it at home or on their uh, This explains why Leo's been getting A pluses in English. (laughs) Actual. Just one thing, though. You know how sometimes when you can copy and paste something and put it into Google and then it comes up, that's how you check for plagiarism? Well, uh, ChatGPT gives you a different answer each time, so that's not an issue. Plagiarism plagiarism isn't an issue. Also, you're plagiarising a bot. No one knows. It's, It's AI. So you, this is, you can I'm, get away with give it. I'm going to give it a go. I know. I'll get my laptop after and give you, give you a little I mean, of whirl. course I said to Peg, yeah, you can have it. What do I care? <laughs> She'll um, do really well in school. What are the other uses for it? Obviously, essays, that, thank God, that horse has bolted I for know. me. I say to my kids, sorry, I've done it and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> do it yourself. It's your year nine English is your problem and yours alone. <laughs> I've done it. What are you using it for? Resumes? Yeah. Opening cover, link, cover letters? Maybe. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're talking all things chat GPT. Yes. I only just, you just only explained it to me now. And let me tell you something sinister. My friend is breaking up with her boyfriend at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and. I can't wait to hear how this is related to chat GPT. I love it. And they've been communicating a lot via text message. As you do when you're emotionally stunted and you're breaking up with a long-term partner. Yeah. Because why would you want to talk about it for voice to voice? <laughs> anyway, she said to me, I think he's using chat GPT. No. Yeah. To communicate with her. To communicate with well, her. Well, you could easily type in how to break up text yeah. to break up with an ex. Or you could uh, you could feed it that information to then spit out a reply for you. And, of course, I didn't know what she was talking about, but she sent me a screenshot of one of the messages. And now that I know what it is, I think that's what he's doing. Wow. I mean, how sickening. I kind of love it, though. I do, too. (laughs) And it means, like, run for the hills, woman. Seriously. What a freak. Amanda, what are you using chat GPT for? Using it, um, I'm actually a teacher and it is the bane of our existence. Right, it, um, because it's the sort of thing, my son who's 14, it's the king of the, he's the king of the shortcut. He's mad for it. I didn't know what it was. But yeah, this has they, got him all over it. Most of them are. Yeah, right. Yeah, most of them are. But essentially you can actually find, like we can find out if it was written by ChatGPT ah. because if you have a digital copy, you can like put it back into ChatGPT and right at the top, did you write this? And it will tell you if it's generated it or not. Okay. Interesting. Amanda, this would have created a lot of extra work for you guys as teachers then. (laughs) Yes, it does. Absolutely. Especially in like senior senior schools with the policies and things like that. And But you'd be able to tell if somebody can't really if someone's a C student and then they they, True. You know, the the alarm bells would be going off, yeah. 
Yeah, and it, and it does, but you've also got to, like, there's, the, the child has to admit to it. Um, so if they don't admit to it for, you know, um, like you, and yeah, once you yeah, get all your got, evidence, exactly. Yeah, exactly. once that DPT says it's done it, then they tend to fold. But before <laughs> that point, <laughs> you know, yeah, they Yeah, deny they everything, really deny everything. T- is it Turi? Turi? Yes, hello. Hi, Gorge. What are you using it for? Hi, Chrissy. I'm so Hi. excited speaking to you. I'm so excited um, to be speaking to you. <laughs> Thank you. So I use it to build itineraries. What, like for... Um, like travel itineraries. So um, say I wanted 10 days in the Lofoten Islands, I would say, um, ChatGPT, build me an itinerary for 10 days in the Lofoten Islands, staying at boutique hotels, in this price range. Sorry, but um, where are the Lofoten Islands? <laughs> oh, in Norway. Norway. <laughs> and so Who then wants it- to go there? <laughs> My dad. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> so it spits this all out for you, though, Churi? It spits it all out. Um, it, it spits out bus timetables, um, the price of accommodation. What? Yes. Yeah. Everything. How good is that? I mean, scary for travel agents as well. Yes. Amanda and Jury, you're both in the draw for Nova's 10K a day. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel could be calling you at five. Let's finish with Jackie. Jackie. Hi. What are you using it for? Really basic, but I actually use it for anything card related, like birthday cards, anniversary cards. I literally used it the other day for a work anniversary card. It is a blessing. <laughs> Jackie, are you not in touch with your feelings? You- <laughs> I definitely am, but there comes a time when you where you have written so many cards to the same person, obviously across the years. What is it? Like Someone's say? popular. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. All right, last calls for Bet Galagos. Kylie Jenner got KB'd. Do you remember that term from the 90s? Knocked back? KB'd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. KB'd from the exclusive uh, Met Gala after party in NYC. Apparently, they were full. You'd think in the top, like in the tiers of celebrity, though, the car Jenners, I would imagine, would be at the top and they'd be trying to let them in. I agree. And, and imagine her horror and mine at having to read this sentence. <laughs> Kylie arrived after midnight to meet up with her sister Kendall and Bad Bunny. <laughs> You're Kendall's boyfriend. Bad Bunny. He's a rapper. <laughs> oh my god. Kylie and Kendall, though, both of their looks for the after party were better than their actual Met looks. I agree. They looked so good. Exquisite. Not that I know the first thing about fashion. Let's talk about Aubrey Plaza. She's an actress that we've loved in Parks and Rec, Emily the Criminal, and of course White Lotus. But everybody's mad at her because she is the latest celebrity to endorse milk. You know the Got Milk campaign is very, very famous. A lot of a lot of celebrities have, have done it, and they they have a little white moustache. Yeah, that's right. Of milk with this with the simple advertising slogan "Got Milk." Well, have a listen to this. Have you ever looked at a tree and thought, "Can I drink this?" I did. Hi, I'm Aubrey Plaza, co-founder of Wood Milk, the world's first and only milk made from wood. Is wood milk real? (laughs) Absolutely not. Only real milk is real. Then what did I invest in? So people are mad because people like oat lattes. People like soy lattes. People can't keep off the toilet if they have a normal full fat latte. I'm not that person. I'm full fat all the time. But I'm not. I don't judge people. Yeah. I love that she's put her name to a campaign that is low-key judging people like that because it's very Aubrey Plaza. It feels like very much a character she plays. It is. Sassing people ordering silly coffee orders. Well, people are mad because, I mean, I didn't realise that, you know, there's Big Pharma and all of that, Big This, Big That. Big Milk is a thing. It's Big Dairy a thing. Yeah, Big Milk (laughs) is a thing. And, uh, And apparently she's sold out. Oh, well. Hope she's laughing all the way to the bank. Oh, she will be. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.